How's everyone uh, doing today? Uh, thanks for joining me on the channel. Um, the video I have for you today is this um, Craftsman single stage uh, four stroke snowblower uh, 900-22 series. And uh, what we're going to take a look at is how to remove and clean the fuel tank on this machine. So once again guys, uh, thanks again for tuning into my channel. Uh, this channel is dedicated to just uh, some basic small engine repair stuff to try and help uh, those of you who are slightly mechanically inclined. And if not, if you just wanted to learn something about small engines, uh, this is the channel for you. I post uh, new content uh, each and every week. So uh, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Uh, that way you're notified uh, each and every week that I post uh, some new content, just like what you're going to see in today's video. So uh, in today's video, uh, once again, we're going to show you how to go ahead and remove and clean the fuel tank on this Craftsman uh, 922 series snowblower. <laughs> Got the key. Don't want to lose that for sure. Top panel comes off. And there's probably wiring for a key switch and uh, some tubing for the, the primer. And then this guy comes off the bottom here. Just slides out. Go back to my trusty fuel line pliers, clamp, whatever you want to call it. All right, next, take this, try and get this fuel line off. I prefer not to wreck the fuel line, but all right, there we go. For the nice clean carb, you don't want to put uh, dirty, uh, yucky fuel back into it. You're just going to have to take it off and clean it again. All right, so I just got a nice clean um, ice cream container here. I'm just gonna take a bit of a sample of the fuel. Sometimes opening the fuel cap will help drain the fuel a little faster. And the fuel does look a little worse than I expected. It's a little bit more yellow in tinge. It should be a nice clear with a very tiny bit of yellow. This is a little bit more yellow than I would expect. I would think that this is um, last year's fuel or maybe fuel from the spring or summer. So I'm just gonna drain all this fuel out and put some fresh fuel in there. Just so you can get a better idea of the uh, color of the fuel. That's uh, a little darker than I would expect for fresh fuel. So I'm gonna replace all that fuel. So I just want to show you guys what I can see from inside the, the fuel tank there with all the fuel drained out. You can see there's a whole bunch of sediment and junk right down there in the lowest part of the tank where the fuel line connects to. So last thing I want to do is just put fresh fuel in there and then have it all contaminated again. So I'm going to have to go ahead and take this fuel tank off so that I can go ahead and um, clean that out. Okay, I said get access to this tank. I gotta take this uh, chute off. I gotta take this um, cover off here. So there's a bunch of bolts. Uh, they all look pretty much like they're 3 8 looks like. So there's three of them here on the chute.
just a couple three eighths here in the front. Looks like it's stripped. Huh. Ah, boy. Okay, there's. This one's a little bigger, it looks like. I don't know why I just can't use the same size for everything. Again, somebody's been in here because these are all different sizes. This is definitely not the original bolt. Hmm. A couple of five sixteenths on this side. <laughs> cover off for the uh, for the belt over here Just this one that's stripped out. All right, last bolt. Uh, I was able to get the stripped out one using sort of an extractor uh, kind of a bit. So last one looks like a little quarter inch that I just snapped off. That's great. Wow. Huh. Turned out to be a much bigger job than I expected. Alright, next thing I do is just pop this ring off. 
and there's three points that hooks up and then uh, that screw that's busted off. I'll have to address that later. And then this whole cover now should come right off. Giving us better access to the fuel tank. Okay, how is the fuel tank hooked up here now? Looks like we got two. Uh, looks like we got two bolts on this side holding the fuel tank on. Uh, looks like a couple of three eighths. Oh, maybe a seven sixteenths then. Nope. They're metric, of course they're metric. Probably 10 mil. All right, I'll zip these guys off. Hopefully we can get the tank off after that. All right, so there were, there's this little plastic molding right here. It's got two bolts on here and one bolt on this backside. Take that off. Exposes two more, looks like 10 millimeter bolts, and then the tank should hopefully come off. There you go, guys. That's how you remove your tank off one of these Craftsman um, 922, 922 snow blowers. Now we're just going to clean this out. Uh, most likely what I'm going to do is just rinse this out with water uh, a bunch of times, swish it around and uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if there's a uh, fuel filter in here somewhere and uh, check that the status of that. Once I get that cleaned out, then I'll go ahead and uh, put it back on. Yeah, and those bolts you want to have nice and tight if you can, just because uh, we don't want to have any air gaps between the gaskets and the, the intake and the carb. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do before I put the fuel line back on is I'm going to take a sam bigger sample of the fuel coming out of this tank. Um, with a nice clean carb, you don't want to put uh, dirty, uh, yucky fuel back into it. You're just going to have to take it off and clean it again. Alright, so I just got a nice clean um, ice cream container here. I'm just going to take a bit of a sample of the fuel. And if it looks bad, I'll probably just drain the whole fuel tank. Sometimes opening the fuel cap will help drain the fuel a little faster. And the fuel does look a little worse than I expected. It's a little bit more yellow in tinge. It should be a nice clear with a very tiny bit of yellow. This is a little bit more yellow than I would expect. I would think that this is um, last year's fuel. Or... Just so you can get a better idea of the uh, color of the fuel. That's uh, a little darker than I would expect for fresh fuel. So I'm going to replace all that fuel. So I just want to show you guys what I can see from inside the, the fuel tank there with all the fuel drained out. You can see there's a whole bunch of sediment and junk right down there in the lowest part of the tank where the fuel line connects to. So last thing I want to do is just put fresh fuel in there and then have it all contaminated again. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and take this fuel tank off so that I can go ahead and um, clean that out. Get access to this tank, I gotta take this uh, chute off. I gotta take this um, cover off here. So there's a bunch of bolts. Uh, they all look pretty much like they're 3 8 looks like. So there's three of them here on the chute. A couple three eighths here in the front. Oh, 
last one looks like a little quarter inch. All right, next thing I do is just pop this ring off. And there's three points that it hooks up. Probably gonna have to take the side cover off for the uh, for the belt over here. Looks like we got two bolts on this side holding the fuel tank on. That uh, looks like a couple of three eighths. Oh, maybe a seven sixteenths then. Nope, they're metric. Of course they're metric. Probably 10 mil. All right, I'll zip these guys off. All right, so there were, there's this little plastic molding right here. It's got two bolts on here and one bolt on this back side. Take that off. Expose this two more, looks like 10 millimeter bolts, and then the tank should hopefully come off. There you go, guys. That's how you remove your tank off one of these Craftsman um, 922, 922 snow blowers. So that's it guys. Uh, thanks again for uh, joining me in the garage. And uh, if you like the content, uh, maybe you learned something, um, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. I'll try and get to each and every one of those. And uh, until next week's project, take care.